Hey guys, so why not keep the tradition from last year alive and test the latest iPadOS 16 with the brand new iPadOS 17 this year. So starting with the boot up test, let's see. So iPadOS 17 finishes a bit faster, which is nice. Now let's see the camera app. Just a bit faster on iPadOS 16, App Store, quite faster on iPadOS 17, nice. Podcasts a bit faster on 16, settings is about the same on both. Now let's see YouTube, and it's faster on the 16, Translate, about the same and it's not much to load honestly iTunes is faster on iPadOS 17, that's nice. Uh, shortcuts, faster on iPadOS 16. Procreate, a bit faster on iPadOS 16. And Lightroom, faster on the 16. And now let's see the RAM management in the app switcher. So, camera is good on both. Uh, app Store. No problem. Uh, podcasts. It's okay on both again. Settings. No problem on either. YouTube. Also loaded. Translate. Different interface here on iPadOS 17. Now let's see iTunes. No problem on either. Shortcuts. Again, no problem on either of them. Procreate, have your app but still loaded on both, which is nice, and Lightroom, and it's loaded on both. So that's nice of iPadOS 17, keeping that RAM management up. Now let's see this latest iPadOS 16.7 versus the one we tested last year, 16.1. So camera is about the same. App Store is much faster on iPadOS 16.7. And podcasts is again faster on iPadOS 16.7. So quite a lot of improvement in 9 months. Now let's check the wallpaper customization. So this is the old menu from iPadOS 16 and 15 and 14. Yeah, no much customization here. But let's check iPadOS 17. You go to the menu and press this button. And it pops up this new thing, which has all the new collections, as Apple calls them, basically the new standard wallpapers. They're pretty cool and you can customize the font and if you want it bold or slim. You can even add some widgets on the lock screen now. It's a neat feature, but I would have hoped for more from iPadOS 17 than just this. And by the way, yeah, you can access them from the lock screen. You don't have to go to settings, but yeah. So, that was the new iPad OS 17, which might not look new, but they didn't break anything, and most importantly, it's pretty much as fast as iPad OS 16, which is surprising and nice, especially for a bit older devices. Now, I'll see you the next time, although I'm not sure when the next time will be, since I don't usually post this kind of content on YouTube, and I don't know when the next iPad OS launch will be, I mean, it can't be later than September, although last year it was in November.